Hey everybody. I don't know how much you can see here well because I'm uh, climbing around an attic, but today we are let's see if we can turn that on. No, no. No, 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 it doesn't. That makes it worse. Alright, so we are adding a gable vent to the attic to help increase airflow um, as you can see it looks like my house had one at one time before I owned it um, I put my helmet back on give me a second y'all my headlamp all right so as you can see it looks like it had one by these cutouts here but that doesn't mean that's what it's from but that's there we're gonna add a 15 by 15 we pick this up at Lowe's for uh, on clearance 27 bucks Royal Gable Vent. Alright. So they show measure from the outside. Here's the thing. If you measure from the outside, you're going to go right in the middle. And then you got to cut this board out. Okay. Oh man, that bad boy's cracked. Um, we are going to go here slightly off centered. It will still work um, because I don't, know, I don't feel like cutting that out, which I could do. I mean, it's just bolted there and bolted there, but I don't want to add any supports off. I don't care if it's slightly off centered. Which it will be because it won't be there. It's going to be here. So as you can see, you got two parts. Okay. Two parts. I know it's difficult. It's hard to see. I tried the light with the flash, the phone. It doesn't work enough. Okay. So this part goes here. Okay. And as you can see, it's almost the exact area. But what you're going to need to do is take this marker, which, oh crap. I think I lost my marker while crawling around. We might be in trouble. My marker is here in the attic from crawling around, but we can do without it. What we're going to do is take the measurements, and what I'm going to do is punch it from the inside with the drill, so then I can go outside and know exactly where uh, it is. It's really not that bad of a job once you do that, okay? So what I'm going to do is put this here. I'm gonna guesstimate here, okay? Which I can't do, is that open? So I'm gonna put about right, like a hole right there, okay? See, boom. That'll measure, so what we're gonna like to do is go a little there, okay? And then we gotta go up that far, which is one knuckle. I was gonna bring a measuring tape, but I did not because I was expecting have my marker, which I somehow lost in there. Okay, so right here. So what I'm gonna do is use this as a measure. Go here. Okay. Show you too if you to get a wood boring bit because the wood boring bit has a point on the top which will help you punch through. Okay. So we got that bed there. And I might have to put one right. Here. I don't have to be that on as long as you go less than what you had because we are using a marker when we get on the outside so it's always better to cut a little smaller of your measurements okay go straight across from here okay like I said I'm still gonna have to go outside with the marker put this on there um, figure it out. And I got from my hole, fingernail to knuckle. You can bring a measure tape, it's a lot better measuring system, but fingernail and slightly more to knuckle. Okay? And we're gonna be good. We're gonna push this in. 
and you gotta remember this one's gonna be a little bigger so whatever you measure is gonna be low that so that's our that's our work get that figured out so that you got it done um, a, a level our measuring tape if you're worried about your ability to make it pretty straight but like I said you just got to make sure about the width and the height and this height got a little more so you're good um, all right so we're gonna go outside which would be a lot easier and I can show you more because I'm gonna be on a ladder out there and not stuck here in an attic where I can't move all right like I said there you go make your measurements get that draw a line you want to bring a measuring tape up to make sure you do it perfect and everything so it's centered um, um quarter inch more this way than that way but we'll see what we got when we get out there i might be able to move it over so all right on all right everybody so like i said get those base measurements down by doing it this way and here's what it's going to look like as i said i'm not in the middle i could go here but then i gotta knock out the board i'm not doing that you can do it if you want it's not going to change much of your heat flux. I'm still only removing the heat at this level of the house. If I put it there, it's not going to get any higher that way. It's still here. Okay? So as you can see, I did not get all the way through with that second drill. It must have turned sideways in there. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, and here's what I'll show you. So it is 79 degrees outside. In my attic, it was already 88. And the sun just came out. So... We're gonna measure this, and then we'll measure the farther side after we're done to show you how much of a difference we made. So what we're gonna do, put that corner there. Right here, right. All right, you can use a drywall saw if you want. Um, make sure it's the one that has the teeth to go out both ways. I got a solid one, I'll show them on the ground. Yeah. That one will work as good, okay? Works better than cuts. So. to get through that I'm gonna to go to these 10 snips because I got it pulled away um, because as the plastic starts getting loose you're more likely to snap it off so got this guy grab this with the nails with you get them after all right you pull this off now I can use 10 snips for siding when it's old like this siding breaks easy do that or you're gonna to have to put a whole new piece of siding and cut it all on the ground and then put it in right on the elbow it's kind of difficult but I couldn't tell that's where I was on the inside so it would have been nice if I had just known and known my studs and then I would have uh, not had to cut on the edge like I am I could have cut a little higher but nothing we can do now we are here uh, you can use a saws off you want a cut off wheel I was just trying to stay away from things that move too fast because this uh, backer foam could catch from all that heat, slice or smoke in, new fire. So I went with manual hand saws. All right, so I got that done. I'm gonna get this back out and finish the cut through the cello board. take this piece could you hand me that part over there and we're gonna have to do some minor trimming to make everything fit in that okay as you can see I cut a little less because I was trying to be careful so since we have that I have a few inches I can go this way 
here. So I'm gonna put this in. Careful, insulation starts coming out because of the airflow. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna slide this in that hole. See what we got. We are almost there. We're we actually where the line is. If I can cut it down to it, we're good, and it'll fit in. And then over here, I need to go out about that far. So we're gonna have a quarter inch of uh, for uh, heat flexing when it starts getting hot. Um, have a brain fart. What's the word, Kristen? Boss. Expansion. Expansion. There we go. You need a half an inch for expansion, you know. But I always tell the ladies, you know, at least give me a good half inch because, you know, things get hot. All right, so I'm going to go in this. Like I said, I'm going to trim with the tin snip to make it perfect so I can fit everything through, and I'll be back in a few. You got this on here? Um, you get as tight as this, you ain't even going to need any caulk. It fits good. Um, let's see. I got a little play here. I left it, the two notches, but this one I pushed all the way in, but I want a little expansion. If I want to, I could go up there. You're gonna need a second person, one here and one on the inside. And uh, what I actually had to do is push my foot against it to push while she pushed in so they could latch in place. Um, there you go. So you got this flow, which isn't a whole lot, and then you got those vents that block it. Let me show them. Let me put it together. So you definitely, I was thinking I was just gonna do the one on this side. I'm gonna have to do both sides. Um, see that? That's also restricting airflow. If you could just leave this big ass hole, amazing. Airflow was blowing on my face. It felt like an air conditioner coming in. Um, so what we had here, <coughs> bless you. Hold this. Is it still the right way? Yeah. Okay. So when I was inside, it's starting to get warmer. Uh, it was 98 further away from there. 89 right near here. Temperature on the surfaces, uh, but it was like inside. Like up to 98 so nine degree difference right now hopefully makes this uh when it's really hot make a big difference and then i'm put the one on the other side this will also help you so you don't have moisture building up in your attic to uh mold and stuff but most attics are okay most unless you got leaks so there you go hope this helped y'all it's a very simple anyone can do repair but at the same time, it's kind of a pain and you need a second person um, because there's a lot of pushing. The, the plastic of that is very rigid. It doesn't want to go together even when it was outside of the wall. So once you got in the wall, it was really difficult to get in. I actually took a screwdriver and I couldn't show y'all. On the back of it, there's with a right here and here. Actually, I can show. And it helped a little to get it into there. But so right there if you see that slit inside there it's clear that's where the actual clip is on this part and it goes and slips into there so i took a screwdriver that was bent and i put it in there to help flex the plastic out so it could go in just to get the original setup where it would lie to go in but it still wouldn't go in i had like i said put my foot there and they pounded it and uh oh, there you go it looks very nice and help cool out your attic um as you can see we don't have any trees and we get full sun from the south right there all day long and it gets hot in our attic which then transfers into our house because of our um vents in the hallway then to the hallway and in the hallway it suck all the air back through to go through your system so since they're at the roof they're getting that heat and you can tell because you go like this we got temperature and i go there and it's hot um i'm tired i'm exhausted i've been sitting in an attic that's like like a hundred you know do i look sweaty and gross so hope that helps y'all if you're thinking about accomplishing it like i said you can go right in the middle and make it look pretty my board was a separate board that they put in later that was only that long so if i wanted to perf care that it was perfect and pretty i could have punched that board out yours may not be a board that can punch out it may be the actual like whole thing depending on how they built it when they built your garage um, this garage was added after, but if yours was original, it may be one board to go straight down, then you're going to have to cut it and make it weaker, and then frame around it to make up for that, so that could be a pain. This is the easiest way. Go slightly to the side. It's a little off-center. Show them again. I don't mind it. Do you? Do you think it looks bad? Not really. It doesn't matter. If you're real, but some people are nitpicky, blah, 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 and finicky, then you're going to knock that board out, make it right in the middle, and be good. Uh, so that's it. If you like this video, please like, subscribe.
able to help during these times. As always, I'm RJ. See you today, each and every day. Bye-bye.